man, it is like literally freezing right now. Freezing. And I'm over here living on the West Coast <laughs> and complaining about it being cold. You know, it's amazing that, you know, once you live in an area for so long that you just get adjusted to the temperature change in that area. You see, I'm from New York. And when I first moved out, you know, to the West Coast from New York, I remember, I remember when it was like like 45 degrees and I was walking around with sandals, t-shirt, and shorts. And people was like, man, how you doing that? I'm like, this ain't even cold to me, man. You know, I'm from where it's like negative five, like 10 degrees, like all the time. Shit, but now that I've been out on the West Coast, man, for like long ass time, it's like 50 or 45 degrees right now and I'm freezing my ass off. But enough about this coldness, man. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So what is going on YouTube? The Assist Man coming at you guys with a spectacular Black Ops 3 Call of Duty gameplay, man. You're going to have to sit back and watch this one, man, because this is one of them games where, you know, it felt like I was doing everything the right way, man. The hit detection and everything was working in my favor, and the score streaks were actually getting me kills. But enough about the gameplay, man. It's just there for your entertainment, viewing, pleasure. So let's go ahead and get into the topic at hand. And first of all, man, I want to say it's Christmas Eve right now. So I know tomorrow is Christmas for a lot of you guys, man. And I hope you guys get what you want. And I hope, you know, your wives and your girlfriends and your moms and your dads and you guys get what you want. But most importantly, man, I hope that you give back and actually make somebody else's Christmas just as special as you're hoping to have for yourself. So let's go ahead and get into the topic at hand. And that topic is... Gaming is supposed to be fun, at least to me. Why, I mean, why do people game? You see, the more I've been, you know, making videos and doing, new, doing YouTube now over the course of about two years. I've been doing YouTube now for two years, man. That's crazy. It doesn't even seem like it's been like two years. It seems like it's just been yesterday. But then again, two years really ain't that long. But over the course of me uploading videos, man, and I've uploaded a lot of videos over the course of the two years... I've, got, I've read and seen, not only on my videos, but other people's videos, you should know, comments about games and, you know, gamers themselves and opinions they have on games and blah, blah, blah. You see, the point that I'm trying to figure out is why do people game? You see, I always thought that gaming was supposed to be about fun. You know, playing video games was supposed to be fun. That's what they were first intended to do. I mean, I remember going back, man, when I first got my first Nintendo Entertainment System. Whew, with that Super Mario Brothers, Zelda, Contra, those good old games. Like, you you wanted it because it looked fun. Like, you wanted to play it because it was fun. Sega Genesis, you wanted to play it because it was fun. Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1, the Sega Dreamcast, the original Xbox without the 360. <laughs> you know, remember the old Xbox that wasn't even a 360? Even the 360, I mean, any kind of gaming console, man. Like... I just thought that people would buy video game consoles and video games to have fun because that's why I game. You see, maybe it's just like, I don't know, for some people it could maybe seem like the older you get, like the more you want to play games, or I guess it could be the younger you get, the more you want to play games. I, I guess it, go, it could go both ways for certain people because when I was younger, when I was a kid, all I wanted to pretty much do was come home, do my homework, I would always want to play with my friends first. Like, before I even did anything, I would want to go outside, play basketball, play football, play baseball. But, you know, after I do that for a couple hours, man, I want to come inside and I wanted to play some games. Because gaming was fun to me. It still is. But that was the reason I gamed. Because, you know, beating that freaking that level on Super Mario Brothers or, or making it to, to Ganon on Zelda and beating his ass, putting the Triforce together on Zelda, or putting in the code for Contra, or playing the original Resident Evil, man, on the Sony PlayStation and on the Sega Dreamcast. Like, you know, playing that original Halo, the first Halo on Xbox. Man, those are some good memories, man, and, and I, I like literally could not wait to either get home from school or get home from work just to play those games because they were fun to me. See, gaming was all about fun. And to me, it still is. You see, the reason I play video games is to have fun. That's the reason I go out and I spend my money on a video game console. That's the reason that I go out and I spend my money on a new video game. And by no means is gaming cheap nowadays, man. Gaming is like literally just ridiculously expensive nowadays. It's like crazily expensive. And I really don't feel as gaming, you know, gamers ourselves and, and consumers 
we, we're, like we're getting the most for our money. I really feel like we're getting ripped off most of the time, but I'll have another video about that in the future. But I spend my money on video games and I spend my money on video game consoles and video game accessories and vice versa and stuff like that because gaming to me is about fun. So when I play a game, regardless if I'm good at it or if I'm bad at it, if I don't have fun playing that game, I don't want to play it because it's not fun to me because that's why I game. I game to have fun. But if I play a game, regardless if I'm good at it or bad at it, if I'm having fun, then I think it's a fun game. And the crazy thing you see, I get these comments, you know, I see these comments on my channel and I see these comments on other people's channels. And that's why I'm asking you guys, why do you really game? Do you guys really game to have fun? Or do you game to think that you always have to be better than somebody? Or that you're actually going to make a living and money and a career off video games? And this is an honest question. Because it seems like I read a lot of comments, not only on my channel, but a lot of other YouTubers' channels. Where as soon, and I've talked about this in the past in some of my other videos like a year ago. But it seems like as soon as somebody gives their opinion about something, and if they don't like it, and if they're not having fun playing it, or doing it, whatever it is, that instantly, they must be bad at the game. So like, I can go and say, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare really sucked, which it did. But let's just say if you thought it was great, I mean, it's your opinion. My opinion that Call of Duty Advanced Warfare sucked, right? So if I say that Call of Duty Advanced Warfare sucks, and then some little kid's gonna come on my channel and be like, oh, you only think it sucks because you're bad at the game. Oh, you only think it sucks because you're not good at the game. Who gives a fuck? I'm not playing the game to be good at it. I'm playing the game because it's a video game, man. It's supposed to be fun. Isn't that why we game? So, regardless if the game sucks or if it doesn't suck, if it's good or bad to you, why are you playing it then? You see, if I enjoy playing something and I'm having fun at it, it don't make a difference to me how good or how bad I am at it. If I'm, if I'm bad at it, I can always practice and get better. That's the point of me playing it. The more I play it, the better I'll get at it. Hopefully. And if I'm really, really good at it, then just so be it. You know, I'm enjoying it. But regardless if I'm, if I'm good or bad at a game, I'm only playing it to have fun. But see, I've played plenty of games that I actually have been very good at playing that I hated. For instance, let's talk about Advanced Warfare. I was actually a good Advanced Warfare player. You guys see my videos. I, I, I'm good at Advanced Warfare. I just don't like it. It wasn't fun to me. And if I turn on a game and I'm not having fun playing it, then why even play the game at all? I'd rather go switch to another game that I'm going to have fun at. But it just seems to me like kids nowadays, like, and this is probably generally more, gen, you know, put out towards the kids what I'm saying because the adults I, I believe for the most part the adults I would say a classifying adult right now somebody that's like over the age of 25 that has been around gaming for a while that has owned different consoles that actually spends their own money on their games so they could see the value of their money and the value of the money they have to spend on games they want to get something out of the money they spend because they spend their hard earned money on that you know we got jobs we work hard for our money man the economy is tight we're not getting our games from our mom and from our dad we're not getting gifts of games you know we're not getting stuff for free we're actually going out there and spending our own money so i'd say for the adult population you know i i think that they're around you know the same way but it just seems like a lot of kids nowadays that i read these comments it's just like it's like they're damn near brainwashed with this Call of Duty and other FPS and other games to the point where, like, they just think that you have to be good at Call of Duty and you have to be good at all these games to have fun at them. Like, I wasn't good at Super Mario Brothers, but I had fun playing it. How can you be better than somebody at Resident Evil? And that was one of the greatest games to ever come out. Like, I had a lot of fun playing, like, Fallout 4. Fallout 4 is a huge game that came out right now. I have a lot of fun playing Fallout 4. But... Just if I'm good at it or if I'm bad at it, does that mean I can't have fun playing the game? A lot of people got their minds disconstrued, and a lot of what it is is these kids, they think they're going to be like the next like Optic Nade Shot or the next like big MLG player. You guys got to understand, man, this MLG thing, it's been, it's been going downhill every year. It's, it's, losing, it's, it's losing numbers, man. It, like It's losing people that actually care about it. Like, if you guys are playing games and you're playing Call of Duty thinking you're going to be like the next MLG superstar and play competitive and all this stuff, just give it up. Because that's not what gaming is about. 
Gaming is about having fun and playing video games for fun. I love basketball. I like playing basketball, but I suck at it. I suck at basketball, but I still enjoy playing it. I still enjoy playing the game. I still enjoy watching it. So that means because I suck at playing basketball that I, I can't watch it. I can't play it. See, it makes no sense. So my question to you guys, man, is do you feel, I mean, do you really feel what I'm trying to say? Like, why do you guys game? Do you game to have fun? Like what gaming was intended to, like me and a lot of other people do? Or do you game and play games like Call of Duty thinking you're going to be like the next MLG superstar and you think in your head you're like some 13, 14 year old kid and you think you're going to play competitive and go to MLG and make thousands of dollars and all this other bullshit? Because you're not. Sorry to tell you, it's just not, it's not going to happen, man. So you should be gaming for fun. And regardless if in your opinion or in somebody else's opinion, if they don't like a game, they should probably not like it because they don't have fun playing it. That's the reason why I don't like games, regardless if I'm good at it or not. But see, in this game, I was good. I went 64 and 4. With the help of a lot of score streaks, it actually did work. But hey, you watch the gameplay, you see what was up, and all that good stuff. So let me know how you guys feel about what I said, man. Why do you game? Do you actually game to have fun? And if you actually have fun with the game, regardless if you're good or you're bad at it, do you still enjoy it? Because that's the way it is for me. So anyway, man, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys feel about the video and if you can feel what i'm saying man and if you enjoyed the video go ahead and hit that thumbs up like and if you have not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button man and tell your friends about me so they can view my videos they can subscribe to my channel and then you can help a brother out so anyway youtube this is the assist man and like always i am out